This is Al Fritz at Earth Healing. How to usher in renewable energy. We all need this very much in the world in which we live. We have a window of time that is closing and climate change is coming upon us. And we'd say, well, let's leave it to the politicians or the leaders of the world or uh, the head of corporations. But no, this is something that needs to be done by everyone. We all have a contribution we can make to bring on a renewable energy economy. And what it is I'm going to present here are a number of suggestions, and not everyone is meant for you. In fact, very few of them may be the ones that you can do easily or well. And so take the ones and do them as efficiently as possible. And if we all did this, we could bring on renewable energy rather rapidly. Uh, the first is to know the situation. Know that gaseous materials like carbon dioxide, methane, and other chemicals can affect the atmosphere in some way, and therefore it would be uh, we will have a lot of warming in the same effect of a greenhouse, and it is that warming can melt glaciers and can acidify the oceans and bring on extreme weather conditions. And we've heard this, that litany, over and over, but it never occurs to us that, well, we could help change that a little bit ourselves. So know the situation. That's the first thing. Promote renewable energy economy, the economy itself. And that means we've got to make a, we might, we ha can't drag our feet on the use of renewables. Has to, that has to come quickly, whereas we are dragging it the more we use coal and oil and natural gas in the same manner in which we used them in the past. We've got to abandon the fossil fuel economy in which we live. can't be done overnight, but it can be started, and there's various ways in which we can do this very well. The first is that we've got to really promote it, promote renewable energy. At the present time, there's a lot of government money going into continuing the fossil fuel economy. And so one of the first things we could do is encourage those who are articulate to go before political candidates, especially this year, uh, in the year of the election, and also there are a number of those who deny uh, the very uh, problem that we have here, contest them speak in such a fashion that they know what your side is as you say it and have them explain why it is they still deny the existence of a problem here. We can also uh, do this ourselves if we're not those articulate people who are going to contest uh, con candidates. Uh, if we are people who will uh, sign petitions and uh, there are a number of those that go out all the time related to renewable energy. Make sure that you're one of those that sign on because hundreds of thousands or millions of petition signers can make a difference and even a, num a smaller number on certain specific issues. Vote for candidates uh, who are, have renewable energy programs we say, well, not everyone does, or maybe one political party has a lot less than others. Well, bring that to their attention. This is not an issue that is only partisan. Renewable energy affects us all, and so does fossil fuels. So we've got to make a transition that is helpful in some ways to those who might be hurt, such as a coal miner, but at the same time, it will be promoting those who enter into the renewable energy field a larger number than those who leave the fossil fuel one. So we're talking about increase, not decrease, in the number of jobs that are available at this time. And the, the next thing is to uh, live a simple lifestyle. We say that because it's been promoted for quite a while, but there are so many things we can do, such as the LEDs, that's light-emitting diodes, and they are really a little bit more costly, maybe, than fluorescence and the old incandescent. But at the same time, they last longer, and they cut down the amount of energy use by a large amount. Remember that 
incandescent that you could turn on, and a baby chick that you might have could be warmed by it. Well, that warming is what is actually costing a lot of the energy that was giving us light. And that is not present if you use an LED. And so we need the, to change in that fashion. But other f things we could do include using a lot less, if not any at all, of uh, air conditioning during the summer months. Also in winter times, we could hold our temperature, and it's more healthy for you, down around 60 degrees instead of 65 or 70. There is no need for having higher temperatures than that. You can always put on a few more garments and it works very fine for us all. We can think about a lot of other ways of living simply. The vehicles that we use, of course they use fossil fuels and to move them over to where they would be a electronic car or other types of vehicles, even the hybrid that uses less of the gasoline, we need to think in terms of transition here very rapidly also. There is a great effort being made, and of course that effort is bearing fruit, and we know that in some ways. In the year 2015, the last year that we have the statistics on it, we find that almost two-thirds of all the U.S. generating capacity, that is that which can generate electricity in some fashion, was from renewables, two-thirds. The other third was mainly, though not totally, uh, from natural gas. Wind is the largest source of this, and uh, it is it handily beats natural gas by itself. In the other renewables, 700 times more was generated in this past year, that is, the generated capacity, we might say, than what was done from oil, and 3,500 more than what was done by coal. Coal and oil are going out as far as electricity generation goes, but slowly. The capacity is one thing, bringing it online is another, and that takes a lot longer and more effort has to be made. Our grid systems have to be set up in some fashion to where all that wind energy can be carried to the places where it is most needed. And now that we're going offshore in spots, then this is even the more reason for why we have to prepare for the coming of the electricity from these renewable energy sources. We could move on to other things too, and one of these uh, is to work individually in our own ways and within our family and among our friends to get energy efficiency not just in the home that we talked about earlier, but let's include the churches, the schools, commercial buildings, professional societies, health organizations, and institutions. Think of this. Many other areas could also be saving energy. I once saw a place that was a church hall and the window was ajar. I came back a while after I had said how it was. They said, don't worry about it. We have plenty of money to handle this. And that, that was an attitude that was just not right. And I tried to tell it to them at that time, and it should be told to others also, is that just the fact that we have enough to do, and, as, and especially when we have cheaper energy than we did even last year or year before, does not mean we allow it to be wasted. We have to consider conserving what we got. We can move on to other, and what I'd call deeper activities. And one of these is to actually march or demonstrate, like in September of 2014 when 400,000 people gathered in New York City, and we went there too, in order to show that uh, the climate change was occurring rapidly, we had to address it fa in a rapid and efficient manner, and it was beginning to be done, especially in the conference that was held uh, in December in Paris. 2015. We are on the road, but it takes a lot of effort to do it, and that's why activity is very important. Demonstrations will come up again. In Paris, they wanted to do one, and they had it arranged to have large numbers of people, but it had occurred right after a terrorist attack, and the French government did not allow it to happen. So we can understand that at times 
demonstrations will be available and sometimes they will be suppressed, but even sometimes for good reasons. But we will try to be there when they're needed and show our, by our own bodies that we are willing people who to try to bring about the change to a renewable energy economy. We could have rallies, and especially they would occur in these times when we're having political activity of a greater sort. And it, there can also be other forms of organizing. All of these are what we call deeper forms of activity, not just something that we do in the home by ourselves or that we do at a local school when we ask to have energy efficiency there, but it can also occur in other ways, possibly too. Uh, let's also fright, uh, fight fracking. Now we have another how-to, and it uh, seems to be popular enough, and that is to how to challenge fracking itself. And this is a time that we think should think more about it. Of course, we have lower price gasoline when this was being uh, prepared, and it was down to a dollar fifty some a gallon, and it will possibly go up again. And when it goes up again, then fracking will be increasing, not decreasing, because there are easier ways of bringing out natural gas and oil from the soil. But still, these ways are allowing people in areas of the country and world that had never uh, uh, captured that much uh, to now have these fields being um, exploited. But we still see that this only prolongs the fossil fuel economy. And therefore, we're sort of against it, even though it comes easily and it is a efficient use of what is there. Still, it has a lot of, of uh, environmental problems connected to fracking, and also it prolongs the coming of the renewable energy field. And that, to me, is its greatest danger, because it's low-priced and it is a very attractive for countries that want to have their own energy security. And then let's have a compassion. And by means by compassion, I mean for the oil and coal and gas workers who will be laid off as the environmental movement pushes harder and renewable energy comes on and it's coming at its own pace, as we noticed, uh, as the capacities begin to increase uh, for renewables that uh, it is coming, but it's coming slowly, too slowly. And at the same time, we can still think about those uh, who will be affected. And I think the one group that is affected very highly, and we've got to remember them, are coal miners who have really many of their pensions are there tied up into companies which suddenly go broke. But when they do, their high officials take out a large sum of money. The bankruptcy commissions of the world have got to look at this. These coal miners deserve their, their pensions, and the oil people do too, for that matter. They have, living, they have to live in the rest of their lives. They can't let a few companies just suddenly break up or integrate with others or lose their own status, uh, and, they can, and this will happen. And we know that because one of the other activities we could talk about is to consider investments that people have, the companies that, uh, well, are related to their parents or families or uh, other relatives or maybe neighbors, and to get them to go and move away from fossil fuels, well, this is bringing down the price of some of these fuels already, of some of these fuel companies. And it's going to be more with the coming years. Some of them have lost 10 to 20 percent in the year uh, 2015 alone. And some oil companies, these are smaller ones usually, but it also can affect the big ones too, is if the investment is not there for it, then they will be in trouble. But we should also always be compassionate to the workers who worked so long for them that they get a due and proper share of the final incomes from these companies. We could talk about other things, and we don't want to leave out, for one thing, um, building and installing solar, or, well, some people even do wind, but mostly solar on the roofs of over a million houses 
this past year. California is very much ahead of the others on this regard. But some other states, which are not really as solar oriented as uh, are some of the southern ones, such as New Jersey, have they have done a very credible uh, process of, of bringing on solar energy on the roofs. Uh, we can show this, in fact, at this time, uh, on uh, the ASPI properties of which I helped uh, put on some of these solar devices uh, a number of years ago, before it was present in others. We were one of the first companies, that, uh, or one of the first nonprofit organizations, or any organization uh, that uh, connected with the uh, grid producing system and actually furnished some solar energy back to the system itself. And we can talk about other things too. Uh, one thing I'd like to bring up is Sunday itself has a every day of every work day, it has a total of 10 to 12 uh, different excerpts, uh, extractions from different publications showing what is happening in the renewable energy fields. And this is available at a very reasonable price, Sunday campaign. You can find it on the internet. It's at uh, uh, Carroll Avenue in Tacoma Park, uh, Maryland, and it can be found on the internet. And I will not quote this to you, but you can look it up, and you'll find that they have uh, daily uh, publications on the internet of a lot of reviews of articles that are being written on solar, or in that, for that matter, also uh, comparing that with fossil fuel industry. So remember, there are available materials for our uh, growing in our own education on this matter. And finally, maybe we could say a, a word is that say a few prayers for those who are leaders in our country and world, that they might understand what the people are wanting, and they want that in a very great way to save our earth from the destruction that could come. And so pray that they have the courage to do what has to be done. And that means in part in, sh in sharing the resources of the world, including financial ones, with those countries that have, will find it very difficult to transition over from fossil fuels to renewable energy. It's very important that we work together globally to bring this about. And one final thing is Share this YouTube with other people. This would be important for them to know that there's areas in which they can work and that they can change the world in some fashion. This is Al Fritch from EarthHealing.info.